Rani's got a migraine this morning, so we've left her in bed with some uh, good quality drugs. And we're going to go on a little walk. Give her a little bit for those to actually uh, start walk working in. Anyway, you guys ready for a walk? No, it's kind of cold. <laughs> it is a bit breezy this morning, but that sun will warm us up. So this used to be the old Garn Railway. Heading from down near Alice Springs, ah sorry, down near Adelaide, up to Alice Springs. And we're going to be following along bits and pieces of this railway along the Indadatta track for quite a while. Pretty cool. Yes? Yep. <laughs> The old Farina Cemetery. <laughs> it's a pretty harsh landscape. Would have been a pretty harsh place to live. Originally around 600 people or so. Um, and again was here for the old Garn Railway. And now, just a series of derelict buildings. This place. There we go. Oh, okay. We were another... The Chapmans were another significant family in Farina. Farina. None more so than the telephone switchboard operator Muriel Chapman. Yeah, well, it's pretty cold here. In winter, I'm guessing. Yeah. Into Mari, Aboriginal for lots of possums. Something like that. Something to do with possums, anyway. And some remnants of the old Garn Railway that used to come through here. thing about Mullarina Station, which is where we are this evening, is a hot spring. It's really warm but it's algae everywhere. It's so squelchy and really weird. It feels horrible. Oh. So you reckon thong's on or thong's off? Oh. Thong's off. Thong's off. If you want the squelchy feeling, it's really relaxing but it's also disgusting at the same time. Knees down. Oh, it's not oh. Swamp monsters! Swamp, Swamp monsters, monsters forever! I'm doing my best impersonation of Jason moisturising at the moment and I am a dry little lamb so this mama bear needs to rub all the lotion on its skin. Of course the first word that comes to mind when you think outback is culture. So we're now, of course it is, we're at our very sculpture park. We've got Plain Henge, a couple of Beechworth Barrens that have been turned into a sculpture and there's a whole bunch of sculptures heading off down here which we'll have a look at because of course this is where you go to get your culture on.
Oh, he's got a little person on his shoulder. And a few more kilometers down the track, we get to the Lake Air South lookout. We've been driving along for a last couple of minutes and you weren't sure, is it a heat mirage or is it just a huge salt lake? No. It's just a huge salt lake. Kurdimurka, Kurdimurka, pretty much the middle of nowhere. 477 miles to Alice Springs, 332 miles to Port Piri. It's a long way from anywhere. This is the Mound Springs Conservation Park, just outside of Coward Springs. And you can see lots of little hills and stuff all over the place. And they're all Mound Springs. Some of them have running water like this one. Some of them are just a little bit of moisture. This is the mound spring called the Bubbler. Oh, yep, yeah, you can see bubbles coming up. Hey, Mum, how'd you like to get in that one? <laughs> These mound springs are the natural uprisings of water from the Great Artesian Basin. Well, there's another bubble. Bloop, bloop. And this one is called the Blanche Cup. Another one of the favourite spots of the Indonata track is Cowd Springs. And their own little hot spring spa that they have. Go in through the bushes, and there we are. How do we get in? Here we go. That's childproof. We're in trouble. Here we go. Oh, no. We're all good. Okay, so hot springs is a slight overstatement for me. I like it like cooking hot. It's a bit cold. It's a bit cold for me. It's warm. It's, it's warm. It's lukewarm. But, you know, that's okay. But it's too cold for me. <laughs> Morning. We're saying goodbye to Coward Springs. Bye, Coward Springs. Bye. Bye, Coward Springs. Where the hot spring wasn't quite as hot as we'd been led to believe. It was a lukewarm spring, lukewarm spring rather than hot spring, according to my loving wife. But anyway, off to Williams Creek. So actually, on the edge of or part of the Woomera prohibited area here where the Australian and British governments did lots of rocket testing and so forth in the 60s and 70s. And this here is the remains of a tracking station. So a radar tracking station built for the... the Black Arrow. Yeah, so for the British Black Arrow rocket program. Uh, Beresford tracking station. Obviously not a lot left here now, but you, know, you can imagine Back in the early 70s, a bunch of uh, scientists sitting here and tracking rockets as they were launched overhead. Another chance to stop and get out and exercise the legs. And uh, as you can see from the, uh, the head covering, the flies are very friendly here. We're at the Strangeway Springs Telegraph Repeater Station. 
not a lot left. Lots of ruins, lots of mound springs, as you can see here. Well, we're going to find out what this building is with the cross. Apparently it's not a church. Funny building here with a cross. It's an old water tank. 10,000 gallon capacity. Circa 1880. What do you think we should do this afternoon? Mm, awesome. Climb trees! That's a plane. Should we go for a plane ride? Sure. Actually, no, I'm not feeling like plane rides because I ate a lot of almonds and almonds don't make me feel good in the air. Or on the you don't want to go for a plane, plane ride over Lake Air. Okay, oh. well, should we walk around? Ride. Should we walk around and ask one of these other people if they want to take his spot? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hello. Right. Fine. Go for a plane ride. We are going for a plane ride. We've already booked it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're not going to drive. What about you, Violet? You going to have a go? No. <laughs> a short distance to anywhere. How are we feeling about the flight guys? Good. Um, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Bit nervous. We just got told they're little planes. Now come forward a little bit. Yeah Matt. That'll help you. Okay. I'm just going to slide this seat back until he jumps in. Whoa. Head. Yep. There's a, oh. <laughs> There's a wing there. <laughs> camera too, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm the one doing the editing, so it's all good. Right, yeah. Ouch. So are you guys all good with me flying? No. No. What do you, that's why they put me at the front. I get to fly, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> How was that guys? Hello! Really is really it good? good? It's good. So the fun bits of being on the road this morning had to fill water tanks, empty the uh, the portaloo. Rani hasn't uh, offered to do that job for me yet. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> That's my job apparently. <laughs> but we're finally on the road. Violet had a little tumble this morning and fell over and hurt us off. How are you going Violet? You okay? She's a bit sore. But they've got iPads to keep them happy so I'll do that. Leaving Williams Creek. William Creek. A little bit of corrugations. Heading now for Cooper Pedy where we're going to have dinner with um, one of my mates from the Central Coast, Dave Murphy. Just happens to be uh, in Cooper Pedy at the same time as we are. So, we'll see you later. Cooper Pedy, we're here. Got to get the kids out of the car. Have a stretch. Oh. Okay, we're at Cooper Pedy. Hello. Right now. Hello. Oh, hello, Vavai. Hello. 
Okay, we're just we're just having dinner at the moment, and the sunset is amazing. So, welcome, Dave, to Hi. the world of YouTube. Wow, <laughs> fantastic! I've always wanted to be an influencer. <laughs> Buy Coke and lots of it. <laughs> This is a sponsored advertisement. I, I, I'm sure we can uh, get it, get something out of them for that. Yeah, I'm sure. Surely, <laughs> surely we get some sort of endorsement. All, all of our thousand views. I know, right? <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, yeah. so, so what's um, tonight? You, so what's tonight's YouTube episode about? What what lesson did we learn today? Uh, Do you know what lesson I learned today? Yep. When you go into an opal museum and you're in an underground cave, when you fart, it magnifies the sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned today. It amplifies the sound. Life lesson number four or five, I think we're up to. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, one kangaroo. You can, you can pat him on the head, he doesn't know he doesn't like it. <laughs> so, um, when kangaroos meet for the first time, they come up and sniff each other's breath nose to nose. So, I've been reincarnated, I'm coming back as a kangaroo, not a, not a dog. And um, when uh, when, so when you meet a kangaroo, if you're out in the bush and a big giant kangaroo comes bouncing up, you just blow gently into its nose, let it know you're friendly, and if you happen to survive, can you shoot me an email? <laughs> <laughs> super, super cute. Super cute. Super cute. Baby kangas. So you reckon the uh, portions yeah. are much lower than what the government says for South Australia? Oh, yeah, hundreds. Yeah. For the whole of No, we need, I mean, if, yeah. Sunset in Cooper Petty. Hello. My gosh, no. <laughs> Okay, we're going to give you a tour of our awesome Cooper Pedy accommodation. So this is the kitchen. Mum and Dad's room is down here. Uh, and here's the bathroom. It has a shower behind the door. It's pretty big, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so down here is just living room, kitchen, stuff, board, games, uh, TV, lounge room. Mike is not feeling the best this morning. He may have eaten too much bacon over the last couple of days. Over here is me and Mike's bedroom. This time I have the biggest bed, but it's not the biggest bed in the house. It's the same size as Mum and Dad's bed. We have our own TV. Mum and Dad didn't let us use it. Um, Micah's bed. And there are pussy cats on the pillows. And the doing it is. And here is our bathroom. A little bit. And another shower. Yeah, I like this one because it's like a dome. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Highly recommend staying here. It's a really awesome place, really clean and really pretty. Um, and everything that you could possibly need. You've got to give them back. You can't take them with you, Micah. Aww, that's Violet. 
So this is a spaceship from a Hollywood movie. Oh, which spaceship is it? From I one of no, nah, it's one of Vin Diesel's um, movies. I can't remember which one it is, but it's yeah. They filmed it out here, and this is they just left it here when they finished. <laughs> so it's a spaceship from their movie. Pretty cool, huh? And you guys thought a real spaceship landed last night. No, I'm sorry. I didn't. Violet did. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Not far north of Cooper Pedy, we have the breakaways. And we have this really weird landscape, but really colourful. We're at the Painted Hills, so uh, in between Kuvapiti and Udadada. And stop for lunch. <laughs> what are you eating, Micah? A wrap. What's on it? Lettuce and tomato. Lettuce and tomato. What are you going to have, bub? Bub? Hello. What are you going to have? Uh, mayonnaise and tuna. And cool. More mayonnaise. More mayonnaise. Oh, that's a lot of mayonnaise. And the flies are also having lunch, I think. Yeah. What are you going to have for lunch, Mum? Uh, just tomato sandwich. Tomato sandwich. There you go. Awesome. Okay. Have someone on the Peace and quiet of the Australian bush. <laughs> oh my god, he let go! And here we have that common Australian flora, a rock tree. Hand gliding, not recommended. In the data, pink red house. Diesel, 290 a litre. 295 a litre. Oof. Anyway, that's what you get being in the middle of nowhere. So from here, heading up the road, and it'll be a sad day because we're not going to Mount Dare and Dalhousie, but means we'll get an extra couple of days at Uluru and Kings Canyon and so forth. Anyway, let's go. It's an early morning exercise with the kids. It's the kitty cat training session. Mika hats off training session. I'm not sure if you can even see the sign. But that's the turn off to Mount Dare and Dalhousie next time. Next time we come through this way. If we have sad face. Here. I'm coming in here. Sad face. So we just passed an old dude on a very old bike. Um, just riding along, just riding along on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Track. On the yeah, on the Udnadatta track, um, very odd dude on a very odd bike. The weird things you see on the side of the road. We've made it to the NT border. Violet, Violet, stand on either side of the line. Stand with one foot in each state. Go on, quick, quick. Oh, and Violet just landed in two states. Well done, Violet. <laughs> And I'm in the oh. territory. And now I'm not. And now I am. And now I'm not. And now I am. <laughs> and I think Mum's been in the car for too long today. <laughs> We've got a little bit further to go until we get to Garn, corner of the Leicester Highway. That's where we're heading tonight. Uh, we're but not going to Marwa. We're not going to Marwa. 
Oh, hopefully that sign, the contrast might be a bit bad. Welcome to the Northern Territory. One thing I won't get enough of on this trip is sunsets. Get another one. We're at the Erdelunga uh, Roadhouse, which is at the corner of the Lasseter Highway and the Stewart Highway, which is the turn off off the Stewart off to Uluru, which is where we're heading tomorrow. But this roadhouse has got some extra bits and pieces. Let's go and have a look. Hello. Before we get to the emus, we have a rooster who has a pretty tough reputation. His name is Cluck Norris. An emu friend. Probably thinks I've got a handful of food, which I don't, because it's in the car. And I know you can stick your nose through there. So I'm going to give you a wide berth. We'll bring Rani up later so you can help bail her up. And over on the playground, I can hear two kids trying to kill each other. Or playing nicely. You can never quite tell. With the moon just rising in the background. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight? Between one you pot, and the sun. One pot chicken and chorizo. Already posted it to Insta. All right, so it's Insta worthy. Snooze you lose. Oh, I don't know about that, but it's up there. <laughs> And a sunset, another one.